Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this Sunday is Christ the King Sunday. We celebrate our Lord Jesus as King of the universe. And as King, He is also our defender in times of weakness, in times of distress, in times of persecution. And so in this celebration of the Mass, let us put our trust in Christ, our King, to strengthen us. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Papuri sa Dios sa kaitaasan. Yes, sir. 
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion glory and kingship all peoples nations and languages serve him his dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away his kingship shall not be destroyed the word of the lord thanks be to god the Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King in splendor robe. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. And He has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. A reading from the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, who has made us into a kingdom, priest for his God and Father, behold, he is coming amid the clouds and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. All the peoples of the earth will lament him. Yes, Amen. 
I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, the one who is, the one who was, the one who is to come, the Almighty. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Pilate said to Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this on your own? Or have others told you about me? Pilate answered, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, Then you are a king. Jesus answered, You say, I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and to all those who are joining us in this celebration through the online broadcast of this Mass in different uh, social media platforms and pages. Today, as we gather in this Sunday Eucharist, and as we do also every Sunday, we gather our strength in the celebration of the Mass. Tuwing matatapos po ang isang linggo ng pagtatrabaho ng ating mga gawain, tuwing linggo ay nagtitipon tayo kumukuha ng lakas mula sa Panginoon sa ating pagdiriwang ng banal na misa. And today, it is very fitting that we are celebrating the feast, the solemnity of Christ, the King of the universe. We gather our strength from Christ, the King. This Sunday, we lay on His feet our weaknesses, our needs, our tiredness and ask Christ the King to strengthen us once again for the coming days. Tuwing linggo po, at lalo na ngayong linggo na ito, humihingi tayo kay Kristo, Hari ng Sanlibutan. Humihingi tayo sa Kanya ng lakas. Palakasin muli tayo sa darating na linggong ito. Palakasin tayo sa ating mga kahinaan. And that is the character 
of Christ as King. He is defender of the weak. He strengthens the weak. He does not abuse the weak. He does not conquer the weak. Instead, He strengthens them, He uplifts them, He gives them courage. Makikita po natin sa ating mga pagbasa ngayon kung paanong naranasan ng mga tao ang Diyos bilang hari. In our first reading today, from the prophecy of Daniel, we see the experience of the people of Israel of different of a different king. Remember that in the book of Daniel, the experience of the people of Israel was the experience of being conquered by the Babylonians, Chaldeans, the Persians. That is their experience of the worldly king, a king who abuses the weak, a king who conquers the weak. But the prophecy of Daniel shows them that God as king does not abuse and conquer the weak. Instead, he comes to strengthen them, to strengthen and defend the weak. Sa unang pagbasa po natin ay naranasan ng mga taga-Israel kung paanong sila ay sinakop ng iba't ibang mga kaharian, ng iba't ibang mga hari. At ganyan naman ang karanasan ng marami sa atin. Ang mga hari, kapag may kapangyarihan, ay sinasakop yung mga mahihina. Pero ayon sa pangitain ni Daniel, ang hari na Diyos natin ay hindi sumasakop, umaabuso sa mga mahihina. Bagkus, pinalalakas niya ang mga pinanghihinaan ng loob. My dear brothers and sisters, let us come to God, our King, because He is not a King who takes advantage of our weakness, but in fact, He is the King who defends us and strengthens us in our weakness. Nakaranas na ho ba kayo ng pagsamantalahan ang kahinaan ninyo? Nakaranas na ba tayo na mahina tayo at kung kailan mahina ka, nako, doon ka take advantage? Siguro marami na tayong karanasan na ganyan. Minsan eh, Kinindatan ka lang. Naku, nahulog na loob mo sa kanya, no? Father, kinindatan ako eh. <laughs> Kaya sinagot ko na agad. <laughs> At sasabihin natin, mahina lang naman ako, Father. <laughs> Ayan, no? Yang kahinaan na yan, <laughs> hindi mo alam, sinasamantala na ang kahinaan mo. <laughs> Father, nag-hello kasi sa text. Kaya binigyan ko ng pera. Ayan, no? tinakbo na ang pera mo dahil sa isang hello at kahinaan mo. No? Madalas mga kapatid, yan ang karanasan natin. No? Yung kahinaan mo ay sinasamantala ng iba. Kaya minsan, ang kahinaan natin ay naaabuso. Pero ibahin natin si Kristong Hari. Ibahin natin ang Diyos na ating Hari. 
hindi niya pagsasamantalahan kapag mahina ka. Baliktad. Kapag mahina ka, doon lalo palalakasin ka niya, patitibayin ka niya. Sana mga kapatid tayo rin ha, huwag din sana tayong mang abuso ng kapwa sa kahinaan nila. Sana tayo rin, huwag din tayo naman mahulog sa mga taong mang aabuso ng kahinaan natin. Alam niyo po, minsan ay mayroong lumapit sa akin na bagong kasal lamang. Pero alam niyo ang problema nila, no? Third party. Nako, marami yatang ganyan ang problema ngayon, no? Marami tayong naririnig ng mga kwento ng ganyan, no? Nagkakaroon ng paghihiwalay at problema kasi nakuhulog ang loob sa isa iba. Huwag tayong magpapahulog yung kahinaan natin ibibigay natin sa isang mang aabuso o kaya huwag din naman sana tayo ang mang abuso ng kahinaan ng iba tularan ng Diyos ang Diyos na ating hari ay palalakasin tayo sa ating kahinaan and that is the experience in our second reading today From the book of Revelation, the book of Revelation was written for Christians who are persecuted by the Roman emperor. They were murdered. They were killed in a very violent way. That is why the book of Revelation means. To strengthen the Christians who are persecuted, ang aklat ng pahayag sa ikalawang pagbasa ay isinulat para sa mga Kristiano ng hihina ang loob, kasi pinapahirapan sila ng emperador ng Roma, pinapapatay ang mga Kristiano, pinapahirapan sila. And our second reading today tells the Christians who are persecuted, Jesus Christ, who is the ruler of all the kings of earth, He loves us. Si Jesus, na ating hari, ay hindi pinagsasamantalahan ang kahinaan natin, kundi minamahal niya tayo sa gitna ng ating kahinaan. At ang pagmamahal ni Jesus ang magpapatibay, magpapalakas sa atin. The power of the love of Jesus will strengthen us in times of weakness. And we can see this also in our gospel reading today. When Jesus, in front of Pilate, showed him that he is strong because he loves us. Mapapansin po ninyo mga kapatid na sa ating ebanghelyo ngayon, si Jesus ay iniharap kay Pilato. Tandaan po natin, yung tagpo na yan, si Jesus ay pagod na pagod na. Pinahirapan, hinuli, at hindi pa nagpapahinga. Pero noong kausap niya si Pilato, ay malakas si Kristo. Hindi siya nagpatakot kay Pilato. Hindi siya umatras at nanghina sa harapan ni Pilato. Bakit? Sapagkat sabi niya, I came to this world to testify to the truth so that I could testify also to those who listen to my voice. Dumating si Kristo sa mundong ito para maging matibay at malakas 
para sa ating lahat. The love of Jesus strengthens us. The love of Jesus can stand even Pilate, even the Roman authorities, even death. The love of Jesus is strong enough to face all of these. Mga minamahal na kapatid, dumating si Jesus sa mundong ito para palakasin tayo. Sabihin sa atin na minamahal tayo ng Diyos. At sa gitna man ng kahit sinong pilato, kahit sinong kapangyarihan, kahit sinong umuusig sa atin, patitibayin tayo ng pagmamahal ng Diyos. Yan ang Kristong Hari. Nagpapalakas, nagpapatibay sa panahon na nanghihina tayo. Jesus Christ came to this world to strengthen us in our weakness to defend us from any Pontius Pilate that we may face, to strengthen and defend us even in times of distress and persecution. Mga minamahal na kapatid, pati po yung mga nanonood sa atin online, baka po kayo ngayon ay nasa ospital. Napapaligiran kayo ng kung ano-anong mga makina Tumutulong sa inyo sa paghinga. Tumutulong sa inyo sa pagkain. At pakiramdam ninyo yung mga makinang nakapaligid sa inyo sa ospital ay natatakot kayo. Pakiramdam ninyo parang mga poncho pilatong nakapaligid sa inyo at nanghihina kayo. Tandaan ninyo, si Jesus ay nakatayo sa harapan ni Pilato. Pinagtatanggol tayo sa gitna ng ating kahinaan. Maaaring mga kapatid na tayo'y natatakot, daladala ninyo yung mga bills na dapat bayaran. Mga dapat bayaran na wala na kayong pagkukunan ng pera at pangkabuhayan. Natatakot tayo sa mga ponsyo pilato na ito na nakatayo sa harapan natin. The power of the love of Jesus will strengthen us in front of all these. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Mass, we come to Jesus, our King. And this King will not abuse our weakness. This King will not take advantage of our weakness. This King does not conquer the weak. Jesus, our King, comes to defend and strengthen us in our weakness. Halina po sa misang ito, dalhin natin kay Kristong Hari ang mga kahinaan, takot at pangamba natin. At alam nating ang kapangyarihan ng kanyang pag-ibig ay muling magpapalakas at magpapatibay sa atin. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. With glory and eternal sovereignty, the Father has established His incarnate Son as King of the universe. Trusting His power and providence, we bring our needs before Him. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Catholic Church may continue to draw people into a kingdom not of this world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That great and powerful nations may reject arms, competition, and conflict and seek true peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who possess nothing in this world may inherit the richness of Christ's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christ may truly reign not only in our hearts but in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the departed may enter the presence of their Redeemer and reign with Him forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for all the intentions offered in this Mass, and let us also include the persons who asked for our prayers. Father of our Lord and King, as we pray for the peoples of this world, give each of us the courage to stand loyally by Christ and His Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, 
for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son Himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and King of all creation so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption. And making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorifying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for uh, a few announcements. This uh, coming weekend, we will be having a special visitor at the Manila Cathedral, the image of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal will be coming here in the Manila Cathedral and she comes from her home here in uh, San Marcelino in uh, St. Vincent de Paul Parish inside the compound of the Adamson University. And they have, the Vincentians have an old image of devotion to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. The visit will start this coming Friday in time for her feast day on Saturday. And she will remain here until Sunday. So for three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the image of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal will be here at the Manila Cathedral. So we are inviting all of you to visit the cathedral and visit her image here. And uh, you may also please check our social media pages, our Facebook page, for the schedule of the activities. On Friday, we will be having Vespers or evening prayer with the Vincentian community, the Vincentian fathers, and also the religious sisters of uh, the family of St. Vincent de Paul. They will be celebrating an evening prayer here on Friday evening. You may join us. This is open to the public. On Saturday, the feast day of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, um, we will be having the feast day mass at 7.30 a.m. And on Sunday, the whole day, the image of Our Lady will still remain here for the veneration of the faithful. And so we are inviting everyone to join us for the visit of the image of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. Let us all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you now and forever. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy now and forever. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.